Bro, yeah. I mean, what was the video? You just you, you dropped in on that freeway bridge or something, yeah, and that, that truck came by. Oh, remember? Geez. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was for hell? Red Bull. That for was, Red Bull, that's that was right. You good? You good? Yeah, 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 that was you good. What dude. were you doing up there, bro? I just like that was. Yeah, what, I don't I, know. Who, that, did Iris spot that or something, or did you? No, that was our guy Kenji. He was a uh, he was like our, our photographer and our and our guide out there in um, in Taipei and. I, I remember ask, I asked him one morning like where what's your dream spot like where's where's like the craziest spot here because all the spots in in Taiwan are incredible okay and uh, he showed me a photo of it and he's like I've taken a lot of people here and no one wants it and I'm like just from the photo I was like that thing looks doable okay like but in my mind I thought it was only like four or five foot like drop and I couldn't tell how big the quarter pipe was mm. <laughs> we got there dude and I was like oh <laughs> how, big, how, how big is the drop uh the drop was like nine feet into like a 15 foot what? quarter so Whoa. like i was way up there you know and what we didn't know was like well i didn't know kenji knew uh-huh that that was like the military base above so we had to like oh we weren't like sneaking onto the military base but like the tunnel ran underneath the base mm. so when i got up there to like scope it out I kept hearing all these like weird little sirens and I could hear someone like speaking over a, a megaphone, but I, I couldn't tell okay. that it was like for us. So I just kept trying <laughs> to like look at it. And like, I ended up like crawling down and jump down at once just to make sure the transition was good. And, mm -hmm. and it was, it was perfect. Okay. And like, I was going to go and turn around and, and just go do it. And then like all the cops showed up and the fire truck and ambulance. Oh, and oh like, my God. it was like super gnarly Cause I didn't, I don't speak you know, I wasn't speaking the language and, yeah. and they surrounded me and I just kind of like had my board and I just kind of like wiggled my way out and they were trying to grab me and I just started running and I ran up to Kenji cause I'm like, yeah, at least he can talk to sure. him, yeah. you know? Um, but as I'm running up, there was this guy on a moped and he's like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, sorry for what dude? Like, I don't, I don't know. He thought I was like trying to kill myself. That's oh. what I was assuming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he like, he saw us and he saw us up there and he was like he called he oh, called the cops like this okay. this American's gonna like kill himself jump yeah but like dude it was weird because we had cameras everywhere and I'm like man it's not really the scenario you would like yeah you know off yourself like well get people filming, filming. Yeah. yeah yeah but whatever like so we got kicked out they told us like never come back and <sighs> you're like we're coming back the next day no I went back <laughs> I ended up like I was in a really bad mood after that because like mm, I was super scared yeah. of this spot. And I had like got myself to that point where like I was ready for the first try and I kind of knew it had to be first try. Mm -hmm. So like I went through that process that we all know about, like when you're scared to try a trick and like to get that first one to pop off is like, that's the battle in <laughs> itself. Is, yeah. Once yeah. you get the first one out, it's like, okay, I can figure it out. Totally. But that first one is like, it takes, it takes something out of you to get there. And, and I got there. And then they should like, they shut had to shut it down, but I couldn't, I couldn't turn it off. Right. You know, so like for the next six hours, like I didn't eat, I didn't drink water. I was like at the next spot, like Foy was doing gnarly stuff and I like couldn't be bothered. I'm like, <laughs> you know, like I'm like, ah, oh, dude, like I got to figure this out. And like, um, I kind of got into acceptance and was like, all right, man, you know, maybe, maybe it's not going to happen and started calming down. And then Ira finally was like, hey, are you all right? I'm like, no, and like we got to go back. And so we just did a strike, like strike mission, dude. We had... We had Jay and Kenji and Ira and myself. And we just took a cab back there. And, like, I practiced a couple, like, bomb drops off this electrical box down the street. Uh -huh. And sent those two dudes over, or three dudes over. And there was, like, a kid that met us there who was, like, my, supposed to be my spotter for, like, cars <laughs> coming through the tunnel. Which he didn't. Obviously, spot <laughs> obviously anything, not. Anything, right. you know, like, I... <laughs> which it makes the clip for sure. And I, <laughs> yeah. and I don't know if I was even looking at him, you know, like who knows if he could have been telling me not to go, but I just didn't even think about it. And I just looked at Ira, I gave him a hug and I walked over and got behind it and like, just kind of looked at it for a second and stood up and put it on and just did went. it. Yeah. Wow. First try. First try. And then, and then just ran up the street and then like, did you even then see it hit? Oh, the, 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 did you even see the truck? No, I didn't see the truck, dude. But I like, when I watch it, you know, again, in slow-mo, it's like my, I, I tail dropped and I, I ended up drifting like towards that car. And like mm. when I land, like my hand goes over the edge and like the truck was right there. I couldn't see it oh, really? at all. Oh, wow. But huh. if you like slow-mo, it's like, it could have, it would have been really bad 
if, yeah. I, if yeah. I fell I, yeah. for sure. But yeah, I mean, Ooh. dude, and then somehow that the you good came out, uh huh, and um, I guess the Ta- Taiwanese government saw oh. it and like grabbed the clip and put it all over the news that they were like looking for me, and I had a warrant out for my arrest no. in Taiwan for like trespassing at the Naval at the, at the base, military base whatever. or whatever. Yeah. And so, like, I was super scared because I wanted to go back to um, I wanted to go back to Taiwan really bad, but they were like, uh, Kenji was called us. He's like, well, "You can't come back. <laughs> oh, like, you're all gosh. over the news." Uh, and then it it wasn't as gnarly as like the news made it sound. Like mm. Red Bull ended up paying like oh a fine or like something ninety bucks. It was like a parking. It was like a parking. Oh ticket. wow, that's it. But they made a big deal about it. Like American came and skated. Oh, but, they didn't. They didn't say if the video was good or not. I mean. I've, Let's, I didn't let's, hear. Let's promote this thing. <laughs> I, you know? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> wow. But I, th- I think I can go back. Like, I, okay, okay. I, I can go back. Yeah. yeah wow. That's my question. Yeah. Can you go back now? I'm, I'm sure I'm I can. Sure. They, so paid, like, they paid the ticket. Yeah. yeah. Like Ryan Sheckler photos everywhere, like wanted. But they, <laughs> they, like, they posted gnarly metal uh, bars into the whole spot. So the spot's mm, gone. Done. Yeah. It's done. Uh, you finished one it off, done. dude. It's all one good. Done. One done. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Like, Wait, were you the was, only one to ever try it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So that was it was psycho. Dude. Yeah. That's like when nuts. I saw that in the video, I was like, "Whoa, dude!" Yeah. Like just the, the spots gnarly, but then to have that truck drive by at yeah. that at that moment too, you're just then your mind starts going like, "What what could have actually happened mm. if something did go wrong?" It's one of those like fantasy spots. Yeah. You know? Like if I could have picked the spot, like how it looked, like mm. with the blue that like blue ribbon that's going through it, like. It was a perfect transition sure. too. Like, I always i I called a bunch of my BMX friends after I got home and was like, "Dude, you guys could ride up it." Oh yeah. And like, do a nose pick or something at the top, which would have been Ooh. epic. But wow. spots done. Damn. No longer. Well, good good clip. Yeah. Made the clip. Uh, it's so funny how it's uh, skateboarders our our intuition that the stuff that feeds us and drives us. Like you had to go back to that spot to almost just have that release and that feeling you yeah know? dude i yeah it's exactly crazy. like you said I, I would not have been able to like sleep i couldn't eat already like i couldn't do any is that funny it's yeah. so obsessive it's, so, it's, it's like, like, like a it's just like a it's an obsessive monster you had, yeah. feel, <laughs> you, you had to feel that void on that trip 100 yeah. percent. yeah uh, Where is that like button right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's Subscribe. over to yeah, it's on your it's on my left. right. It's no, on, my on left. your left. Hey, yeah. Hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> the, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of like Oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. The subscribe's like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. <laughs> All right.